previously on Superman War World Saga. We got a message from Midnighter. It's happening. What's happening? He writes, Revolution's on. Be ready to move. First Star Forge comes down tonight. And get these people home. Teacher is more of a problem than I remember. He's an arrogant fool, and he's given us a way to win. What? He brought one of them with him. The devices that all his power comes from. An orphan box. He uses those boxes to control his unmade. To open doorways anywhere in Warworld. If we get our hands on one, everything changes. If we get our hands on an orphan box, this becomes a war we can win. Can you really not see what I see in them? And you say that I've learned nothing. I've never seen such blindness, such arrogance. No! Stop him! You think caring for others is a weakness, but underestimating them is yours. That's why we'll win. Remember your wife and son. Remember that you're vulnerable. Remember that you can die here. Be the unblooded sword. Save the people who are relying on you. Take the Citadel! But remember your wife and son. Reunite me with Darling, and I will help you save your Enchantress. But you must harness the power of the stone you call Genesis. And for that, we will need the help of one who is far, far away from here. Mongol who was ever ruler of the Orchard of the Dead, patron of the Unmade, hear this servant's prayer. The son, Mongol who is, offers you the flesh of a mighty enemy, slain by the will of Warworld. He offers also the soul of a champion of Mongol, slain by the sun's own hand. Be still, servant. Light Ray. This one was called? It will need a different name, I think. We're entering the final moves, and the game favors us now. If you like the action you've seen so far, don't forget to like it, subscribe to support our efforts, and ring the bell to receive notifications about the latest episodes. Even though these are small clicks for you, they are great sources of motivation for us. Enjoy watching. Balay Nagal, forgive us. The Citadel is lost and Teacher is free. There's nothing to forgive. Please, rest. Tell us what happened. What happened? Mongol came for us. First, the winged golems fell upon us. Soulless warriors that fly on wings of fire and steel. It was not our first time facing them. We fought bravely and littered the field with their corpses. It seemed we might hold the citadel, but then came the unmade. The one named Darling, more savage and untamed than ever I have seen. A giant made of flesh and iron, with wrath like thunder and strength unmatched. An army in the guise of a single man. Then came the terrible Star, a living man made of punishing flame. We fought him with cannons and siege engines, with every weapon and device that we possessed. And with a wave of his arm, he burned them all away and the walls beneath our feet. Then fell the final stroke and with it the battle was done. What was it? Our people called it the Black Razor, an invisible blade that cut through our ranks until nothing of us remained. I believe in you, Superman. You are the unblooded sword. You gave us truth and justice, and my people will fight for you ever. But now we fight knowing there can be no victory. Not when death itself opposes us. I did not think our fight would end this way. We're not done. There's still one chance. What chance do you think we have? Mongol's not just coming for us. He's coming for the fire of Old Grun itself. The necropolis has unseen power and protects its secrets. But with an unmade Omak, Apollo, and now Light Ray leading his forces, this will not be a battle. It will be a burial. It's time to talk about the Star Forges again, now. Blue's gone round and round on that, Natasha. The red suns that the Star Forges produce hold Warworld together. If we blow one up- We're not going to blow one up, Manch. We're going to steal it. Orphan? Leonath and I have been communicating with Uncle John on Earth. We're building a reactor that makes Genesis energy stable. If we can convert the radiation output from even one star forge, we can use it to produce a different kind of sun. One that would theoretically give us an army of super-powered Phalosians. Theoretically. Without Superman's strength, 
You are fighting with your hands bound. Short of killing half the planet, this is the only way. Mongols on his way here. We've got people so weak or injured that they can't walk, let alone fight. Are we supposed to leave them here while we break into Engine City 1? If Mongol reaches the fire of Olgrun, none of your bickering will matter. If you want to live, convince your Superman to- Enough. A lot of people are counting on us to keep our heads right now. Everyone in this room has been in tougher spots than this and we're all still here. Now, collect yourselves and let's find a way to win. Krill UX. I've faced a lot of supposed ultimate weapons in my time. They have a way of corrupting their users and are almost always better left untouched. Even if Olgren's not just a myth, even if this weapon is as powerful as you say, we don't need it. Ah, oh, I see. And do you think Mongol will have the same restraint? He and his unmade are decimating these tunnels looking for it. He stands on the cusp of godhood. If you've come to trust me at all, El, trust this. If Mongol finds the fire of Olgrun, everyone who has followed you here will die. And if you truly crossed a galaxy to help us, knowing you were weakened, and now you are choosing not to pick up the weapon you need to do it, you'd have served us better had you stayed away. You're right. All of you are right. We can't afford to lose today, and we need to pursue every option we have. Midnighter, our people know you. You, Kaljo, Manchester Black, and Enchantress shore up the camp's surface-side defenses. When Mongols' forces reach us, find the source of Mongols' control over our teammates and break it at all costs. We need them on our side. Agreed. We're on it. Natasha and Leoneth, take Orphan and your Genesis Reactor and get to Engine City 1. If you really think you can hotwire a Star Forge, do it. Count on it, Superman. Krill UX, you've more than earned my trust. I'd be dead without your help. Help me find the fire of Olgren, if only to keep it out of Mongols' hands. Blue, you should take the kids with you too. Are you mad? They can't come with us. We don't know what we'll find down there, Midnighter. They're not safe with us. They're not safe anywhere, but they might feel safe with you. Leah, can, can you hear me? I hope not. I hope to God you're not still in there. If I wasn't such a coward, I'd just kill us both. You know why I don't? Because you wouldn't. You'd figure out some way to save us both. And you'd trust that our friends are out there trying to do the same. And him, too. I came here more for you than for him. But I can't help but wonder, what would Superman do? War World Journal, Entry 89. One way or another, I expect this will be my last entry. Soon I'll face Mongol again. For what I hope will be the final time. I expected a trap the first time but was unprepared for the lengths to which he had gone to win. Now he's stacked the deck even more dramatically in his favor. My teammates are afraid of another loss, one we might not come back from. Our new wars and friends tell me that whichever of us defeats Mongol, the title of Mongol will pass to them, whether we accept it or not. Nevertheless, we will not accept it. These people have had their leaders forced upon them long enough. Let them choose their own leaders next and give them whatever title they see fit. Wow. We must hurry. The synthesizers contain astral surgery seeds. We have to- No, he is here. Leonath. Darling, darling, stop. Darling, can you not hear me? I'm afraid he no longer relies on you as he once did. I was surprised when I learned that your little plan would lead you here. Bold of you. Mongol was disappointed that he could not be here at the precise moment your last hope of success dies. But I was quite happy to see to it myself. This way. How do you know? There are a lot of stories told on these walls, but one of them seems to be much longer than the others. More linear. If we follow it, I'm hoping it will lead us to the center, or at least. Superman, when this is done, will you take us with you? To Earth? Do you... would you want that? Would you not rather come with me, Otho? I could show you New Felosia, where your parents and brother grew up and my children as well. Would that not be better? Otho Ra, Osul Ra, both of you will always be welcome anywhere I am, and I know Krill Ux feels the same. Just so. There aren't many Kryptonians left, but I know that every one of them will see you like family, and the other Phalosians as well. I expect you'll both wear your own family sigil one day, but this one is yours as long as you want it. Would you want that? Look at this. 
These doors weren't here in my time. Have you ever been this way? These passageways are a devil, a riddle that keeps changing. This is it, the heart of the necropolis. Help me get it open. Welcome. I was wondering if you'd ever come. Byla? It makes sense. I've wondered for some time how Byla Esh could possibly have come by all the things he knows. Who are you really, Byla? You know me perfectly well. I'm a storyteller and a friend to children. But a servant also. A servant of the gods of the first world created to hide and protect this necropolis. For within it lies a living remnant of Olgren, god of gods. That remnant is his fire. The fire that once drove him to become as he became. The fire from which all Warworld grew. My task was to repel all who would follow in Olgren's path and to aid the one who would redeem him. Is it you, Superman of Earth? All I know of Olgren is what you and Krill Ux have told me, and what I've read on the walls. I'm not here to redeem a dead god. I'm here because a lot of people need our help right now. Some of the bravest people I've ever known who are about to fight for their lives against impossible odds. And without the contents of that tomb, I don't know if I can help them. So, I ask that you stand aside, Byla, and let me do what I came here to do. I would, my friend. But it is not within my power to simply give such a treasure. All I can give is the opportunity to prove yourself worthy. So step forward, Superman and prove yourself the master of Warworld. 